Okay, hope everybody's having a good Monday. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Oh, I'm going to clear out of this. I got some uh, uh, die-cast car project that I'm working on. I was trying to research something here. I uh, wasn't having too much success. I a lot of neat stuff, though, but uh, that's for another another day, another project uh, for YouTube. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, so I got a lot of mail here, and I got some more 1910 uh, T218 cards, and I don't think it's fair not to show you those cards. i um, show you what I've got here. I think these cards, at, cards averaged out $5 a piece, and that including the shipping here. This one was $1.50 here, and this one is really, really thrashed. This is, I believe, a billiards and pool. and uh, It's a series of champion pool and billiard players, and this is completely thrashed, but uh, the next copy I think was maybe $15, and then the next one after that was $35 or $45, so it was time to get that one um, until I get an upgrade. These were in really, really pretty good condition for what they are. Uh, this is a series of champion bowlers. And there is this card here. So that's really neat. I didn't have any of those. And then this is my first uh, billiard player. Or, well, second billiard player compared to that, to that one. And this one is in really awesome condition. This card is all over the place. I don't think even COMC had that one if they did at one time. But um, again, uh, places like Dean's cards or whatever... Man, they want like $45, $50 for this card. Um, and not even as good a condition as this card in. Some of those high-end places have ridiculous prices on kind of uh, cards that no one else in their right mind would pay that, I mean, unless you were silly. It wasn't even graded for like that price. So what else did I got here? get here? I got some cards that I thought were going to be numbered. Uh, and these are not. I think these were to 200 but I cannot remember. These are uh, just uh, drafted. Um, Nolan Arenado cards, and they were not very expensive. It was, I think, two bucks or a dollar for those, plus shipping. Um, but there's no markings of no numbers here, nothing, not a thing. Now, these were kind of amazing. These are Justifiable 2002 from Just Miners, and this is a 2002 Dontrell Willis, and this one is numbered, and this is numbered to uh, 1,000, 367 out of 1,000. They're all hand numbered with a little foil sticker there. But all of these are in order. So I have uh, 367 to 376, and you could get in lots of 10 of them. And he has more of them. So maybe I can get more consecutive numbers. Those are all consecutive numbers. Dontrell Willis, Justifiable 2002, Just Miners card. So that is weird. Very, very weird. Um, I've got a postcard here. Uh, I've joined the Lives Library Book Club. And it is out of somewhere in Washington. And they did not feel like canceling my stamps, so free on that one. I can't send it out because it's got kind of a like a light orange bar across all the stamps. So that's a waste. Um, but I did get one uh, Snoopy for President. I found this in a damaged uh, Peanuts book when I cut out, and I sent it off to uh, Lodi, California. And Lodi has canceled it, and the machine has obliterated it. Um, they damaged it. The machine uh, ate it right there, and the machine also ate it right there. But again, it's a thing that I colored and uh, trimmed out of an old paperback book that was uh, going bad. It had some mold on it. Uh, this one here is an Avion uh, postcard for Avion Water, I guess. And I sent this off to uh, Waterford, California. Haha, ha, Waterford. And so that's been canceled. It's been damaged there a little bit. Then I got one from Raymond, Washington. Didn't do anything fancy for that one there, but there's a cancel there. And this is a generic uh, seagull postcard I've had a bunch of times. And then we have uh, Copalis Beach, um, Washington, a sea cave of the Washington coast. I just really like that picture. I've had that for a long time. Sorry for the glare. And then there is Copalis, and the beach does not show up very well. But there's that one. They canceled that stamp and didn't do that one. Then uh, the prizes of the day. I got um, a fellow um, collector and... Um, follower of the channel, I don't think on YouTube, uh, sent me a, a note and some cards here. Found them, I guess, really cheap on uh, um, Amazon. Uh, I do have some of these um, uh, Pro Set Superstars music cards. I used to have a bunch of them. I don't know whatever I did with them. Uh, I got them in high school at, uh, I think, a local card shop that was practically across the street. And this is Madonna, that one there. These are, I think, from 1991. Um, I think there was two series, but don't quote me on that one. Three different Madonna cards there, and a share card in a penny sleeve. 
That's kind of interesting. I did not have any of those cards. Thank you for that, Byron. I'm not on Facebook or whatever other social medias you may be on, but just uh, YouTube is my only means of the outside world besides uh, my uh, old-fashioned email. Now, I got something really neat in this large package here, and I cannot remember if I paid for that stamp or somebody else did. I put the two Star Trek stamps on there, and I got two items signed by this person, and um, it said Smith, and I'm like, Smith, I'll give you the address there. Smith, what the heck? I don't know any Smith that I've sent off to, baseball player, player, or otherwise, and I sent it in this protective envelope that I cut in half, and I don't know if I wrote that or he did. Um, somebody did. Um, if you saw that, it says, Hello, Wisconsin, in Sharpie. Anyway, to make a quick story of it, I have gotten Kurt Wood Smith on my That 70s Complete Second Season Disc 4, and, um, and he also signed the actual DVD. Um, I don't know where I got this, how I found this, what happened, but uh, Kurt Wood was on both of it, and I thought, you know what, and I think two, late, two years later, I gotten it. So that is really awesome. Kurt Wood Smith of That 70s Show. So that is a really awesome end to this video here. Um, you know, all the things that he is going to do to his son, you know, footing this and footing that. And, uh, um, Kelso, if I ever get my hands on you and all that good stuff there, and you darn kids and um, things like that. But I have a 70s show story.